Hip-hop is 1987.com. Terrell Thomas, Hip Hop's 1987. We're live downtown Atlanta, Central Park. As you can see, all the wonderful things that the Atlanta Hawks have done here with Central Park. I'm with a young cat from originally from the Florida area that's out here join, joining us in Atlanta. He goes by the name of D, doing a lot of great things in music. How you doing today, man? Hey, how you doing? Can't complain, man. Now talk to me and let me know where exactly in Florida you're from and what brings you to Atlanta. Yeah, I'm from Broward County originally, and then I uh, ended up moving to Charlotte, North Carolina, till I was like 15 years old, and then after that I moved to Sarasota, Florida, it's like suburb of Tampa, um, it's smaller, but we got nice beaches out there, so shit. Um, <laughs> and then, yeah, that's where I went through high school, and then now I'm up in Tallahassee, Florida, um, working on music, yeah, so. When did you fall in love with music and when did you decide to put your name into the hat and figure, hey, I might have something I can really make a career out of? <laughs> yeah, it's a funny story, actually, because I kind of got, you know, pushed out of high school on some um, other stuff I can't really speak on. But I was playing basketball um, and, you know, I had opportunities to go, you know, play Division One basketball and things of that nature. And then uh, I kind of screwed that shit up. So I kind of was in a position where... You know, I didn't know what the next step was for a little bit, and it's, things were kind of, you know, all over the place, but um, it's starting to figure itself out now for sure. So that's kind of what, you know, directed me into the whole music scene. I had always been around, you know, love the hip hop culture and everything about it. So, you know, big music head, big rap head. So, yeah. So. What got you out here to Atlanta? What brings you here to Atlanta? And one, yeah. of, the, one of the music meccas right now, I guess mm -hmm. you could say. For sure. Well, I mean, that's part of it for sure that it's, you know, the music mecca, um, one of the music meccas, but. Um, you know, just recording, trying to meet network, you know, meet new people. Um, just as you get into the industry, you know, um, try to, you know, maximize that exposure, you know, trying to come into it. So, yeah, that's really what we're trying to do right now. Coming up in Florida, you say, you know, being a student of the game, loving the hip-hop culture, mm -hmm. who, were you, who were you listening to coming up and who are some artists mm -hmm. that may have inspired you? Yeah, well, for me it was a little... A little different. I'm not, I'm not really big on uh, a lot of new hip hop. I mean, I, I like a lot of it. You know, I listen to it frequently. I got, you know, you know, I like Drake and you know, A Boogie. Everyone, all the new, the new people too. You know what I'm saying? Because you gotta support everybody. But I'm bigger on, you know, old school hip hop, Biggie, Tupac, whatever it is. You know what I mean? That's more what I'm bumping on, okay. the, on a day to day. Jay Z, you know, a little Nas, something like that. Yeah. I know you've been getting some work in the legendary Patchwork Studios. You know, you've sure. had everyone from the likes of Beyonce's and some of the Crazy. dopest rappers, the Futures, the Ludacris. You see their plaques and Patchwork as you're there. So what have you been working on as you've been in Patchwork? Yeah, no, we got a we got a mixtape coming soon, um, Incomplete Volume 1. Y'all make sure you get that when it drops. Um, there's no date on it yet, but it's coming soon for sure. We got Crazy, uh, crazy Producers, B-Rax, um, Young Lands, Jordan, Sneaky Beats, Crazy Producers on that one. Um, so yeah, we're excited for that. That's what we're working on right now, shooting music videos and tracks for that. What are you going to want your, your fans that you'll receive after your body work drop, your fans now? What do you want people in general to pick up from your upcoming project? What do you what do you want them to know about you as an artist when they hear your upcoming project? Yeah, just not to be, you know, defined by anything. Just the creativity is endless, you know what I mean? So it's like the diversity they'll see, I think, um, as far as, you know, you go into, you know, uh, rap bat whatever you want to say you know boombox type rap you know what i mean as far as old school shit and then um all the way into some, some more r&b type stuff you know what i mean and then more melodical so you know there's a bunch of aspects i think that it's going to be dope it's going to hit right for sure we came out here because you have a distinct love for the game of basketball as you mentioned you were about to play division one ball sure. i understand you have some friends in the nba right now right. as well so who, who do you who, who are some of those folks in the in the nba and who do you see right now as your mvp <laughs> um to answer the first part of the question, I play with, uh, it's called Showtime Ballers. It's, uh, y'all have heard about AAU basketball and all that, you know, big when you're growing up. It's a, it's on the Adidas um, gauntlet and whatever, the circuit. So I was playing with them and I met, uh, you know, I, I met Dwayne Bacon, Antonio Blakeney's from my home city, Chicago Bulls, Charlotte Hornets. Um, who else? Uh, Corey Sanders, shout out uh, Rutgers. Um, just a lot of people, you know, a lot of my friends now that were, you know, my age are going to college now, so that's dope.